welcome today I want to talk about self-improvement my experience with self-improvement and the big difference between self-improvement and self-love because they are very very different things you may not expect them to be very different things because you may think like you improve yourself because you love yourself like self-improvement self-love but most of the time they are very very separate things <clears throat> So maybe you can relate to being on self-improvement, uh, going to the gym five times a week, trying to make 10k a month, um, wanting to go on vacation to Dubai, buying a Rolex, all these things. I don't know, maybe you can also be um, meditating, eating 4000 calories a day, eating clean, all these things. They are very positive things. Um, maybe not really the vacation to Dubai but uh, most of them are very positive things uh, to improve yourself but there's a there's a very big problem in this as well for example what I really noticed is once you fail uh, the good habits or once you indulge in a bad habit you're really beating yourself up you're getting angry at yourself you feel like a failure so for example I would be doing no fab, no fab, semen retention I would be on, for example, one or two weeks and I would be busy in my head with like, oh, don't relapse, don't relapse. And then I would go to an adult site at night and I would relapse, basically. Um, <clears throat> and I think a lot of guys can relate to this and then you're so angry at yourself. I would put the alarm clock at 7 a.m. the next day and I would go do a cold shower or, or run for three two kilometers or three i don't know i'm not that good at running um but you, you would punish yourself you would you would get angry at yourself you would beat yourself up and it's almost like a self-hatred um and 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 that's basically the cycle so you're you're then doing these these good habits from a place of I need to do these good habits in order to be good enough. So I need to be waking up at 7 a.m. and I need to be meditating for 15 minutes and taking a cold shower and then fasting and then doing deep work and then maybe go for a walk and doing this and doing this and doing this. And then because you you create a sense of needing to do this and and um, as, as like a checklist, you check it off. Like, okay, I did the meditation, I did the visualization, I did the 10 pages of reading, I did all these good habits, and now I'm finally good enough. And if you don't do it, you're, um, you're basically a failure. That's how you see yourself. So it feels like something you need to do and not really something you can enjoy doing because you can also be meditating for 10 minutes or 15 minutes in the morning because you just want to be meditating and because you enjoy meditating you can be reading a book because you want to be reading a book and you really like this book <clears throat> um, so what really happens is like you have this you have this goal in your head for example you want to make 10k a month in profit um, or you want to be building this amazing physique and then you are moving from a place of of lack of not being good enough um, and then you have this visualization for in the future how you will be when you have the 10k a month for example and then you'll finally be happy and you finally be proud of yourself when I have a little bit of a bigger chest and when I can bench 100 kgs or 150 kgs um, you're finally good enough you can finally feel like you want to feel. Because if we're being honest, that's what we're looking for. <clears throat> it's not the 10K. Um, it's not the amount. It's not the, the thing. It's not the object we are striving for. It's not the girl. It's not the car. Um, it's not the yacht. It's, it's not all these things. It's how you feel when you are having these things when you're experiencing these things we have a we have an image in our head that that the feeling we want to feel um, is very linked to to this experience so okay i can finally be happy and i can finally be proud of myself and relax when i make 10k a month or when i have this audi for me it was always an audi a5 um, 
then I can finally be proud of myself and feel confident because it's not about the object. It's about how we feel. We want to feel proud. We want to feel love. We want to feel joy. We want to feel confident. We want to feel relaxed. We want to feel... Basically, we all want to feel love. That's the deepest the deepest feeling we are searching for. <clears throat> and then our mind creates an idea of like, oh, when we achieve this, we can finally feel this. And also all the content we consume on self-improvement, going back to self-improvement, is also in line with this. So you see all these guys um, in, in Marbella and in Dubai, and they are portraying this feeling of confidence and a feeling of proudness so that you feel be like okay that's what i need in order to feel love and in order to feel the way i want to feel if it's love confidence relaxation all the feelings you want to feel and then you just create a blockage in your head like okay but i first need to achieve this in the physical world before i can feel this way um but that's not true because you can see also the message in all of these guys' videos like I became a millionaire and now I'm depressed um, or I, I bought a car and it didn't make me happy my first sale on Shopify felt better than uh, hitting 100k month for example so it's all relative it's not that this experience will give you the happiness um, <clears throat> and this, this really landed with me on the moment um, so I, I always had this with, with money. When I, when I make this amount of money, I can finally, finally be happy and I can finally relax. Um, and then I got a job or when I have this car, I wanted to have a big car, Rolls Royce Cullinan, for example. Um, this is a funny story because then I became a private driver for uh, a guy, a 50 year old guy, and he uh, so I was driving him around basically. I was, I was, he was going to meetings like two times a week, and I would drive him around all day. And I would drive in the in the newest Range Rover, um, like the biggest version of like 200, 240k or something euros, expensive car. And I would be driving him, and then I would also drive his dad, and it would be the, a Rolls Royce Cullinan in a very cool color. Um, I would be driving them around. Uh, and I was 20, 21 even. Um, and then and then I would feel how it feels to be in this car. And then I would be like, okay, now I'm driving this car. Um, but it doesn't make me that much more happy. I can still be anxious, fearful and drive this car. And then I would be driving around business partners of him. And they would be so stressed sitting next to me. Like I was driving a business partner, like a multi hundred millions of dollars. We're talking about these guys. And he would be so stressed. He would be constantly sitting next to me like... <clears throat> <clears throat> like with his family. Like he couldn't even relax in his own body. He couldn't even enjoy this moment where he was on vacation with his wife and his children. Because he was so in his head, so fucking stressed out. Um, so why I'm telling you this is... These people have achieved this massive amount of wealth. Like... We're, we're talking about maybe three, four hundred million net worth. And they're still stressed. They still don't feel proud. They still don't feel love. Like, so it's super relative. Like, and then it really landed for me that at that moment. Like, okay, this car won't give it to you. Of course, it was super nice driving these cars. It was an amazing experience. And I want to drive big cars in the future as well. But this experience of driving this car and having this amount of money won't give you the feelings you are looking for. So what can give you these feelings you are looking for? That's the important part. <clears throat> then we need to get back to a basic question. And that is, why are you not feeling the way you want to feel right now? And ignore the first thought that comes to mind. Probably the first thought is, yeah, because I don't have achieved this or because I didn't have this in the physical world. Uh, I, I don't have this car or I, I don't have a girlfriend or I'm depressed or I'm anxious. That's why you don't feel this way. But that's not true. Maybe you feel anxious. But why, again, why are you not feeling this way right now? 
ask yourself that question. Why are you not feeling proud of yourself right now? And if you really go deeper into this level, you journal about it, you meditate on it, you find that maybe your mom always, your mom never complimented you and was never proud of you. You always needed to do more. Um, So in your mind, you have a belief that in order to get love, you need to do more. So you're not good enough. Or your dad couldn't give you love when you were young. Or you don't even have a father. Um, these things create create a feeling of not being good enough. Maybe they have a, you have a belief in your head that you're not worthy of love. Um, and these things are painful. These things are very painful. Um, but how is this linked? So how is the the... the, the ability to not feel love in this present moment linked to this belief of not being good enough. So I will dissect it a little bit. Um, In like a spiritual sense or in a spiritual way and in a true way as well, uh, there's only this present moment. Um, And what do I mean with this? Like a future, it doesn't exist. because when you think about the future, you can do it right now. Think about something you want to achieve in the future. What are you doing? You're thinking in this present moment. When you are relating to your past experiences, you don't really go into the past. You cannot experience the past. You can only think about a thought in this present moment about a concept that happened in the past. But you are thinking it right now. So in that sense, the future cannot give you some kind of fulfillment or some kind of feeling of love because the future simply doesn't exist. If the future comes, it is right now. So the future cannot give you anything you cannot have right now because the future is also right now when it appears. It is always now. So this feeling of being proud of yourself, this feeling of love, this feeling of joy, this feeling of confidence you are looking for, you can feel it right now because this is the only moment that exists. It is the eternal now. So there's probably something that is blocking you from feeling it right now. Um, And what is blocking you? Most of the time that is a a trauma. That is a, a, a belief system about yourself and the world that is based on an experience you had, and a, a painful experience you had, a trauma. Maybe you are very fearful, maybe you are depressed. Um, it's always an underlying emotion under that. Um, so if you really go deep into that and, and find out what it is and, and, and release it, feel it, like like that's a very important part so if you go into this to this reason why you're not feeling the love and the joy and the proudness of yourself you can feel right now it's most of the time something painful for me it was (laughs) Um, for me it was mostly that my dad couldn't really give me the love as a child because he couldn't feel the love himself so that's that's something very very deep what i have been going through um and you probably also have these things Uh, and that's why you're probably also on self-improvement so hard trying to improve yourself trying to get somewhere trying to have a goal in the future but this goal you have for making 10k a month is just a delay mechanism Um, for not feeling the way you want to feel. So this goal is a delay mechanism for not feeling the way you want to feel. You are running away from this feeling, from this pain. Wait, let me me say say it other. Let me say it in another way. Um, You want to make 10k a month and you think it's going to give you something. It's going to give you the feeling you want. But in order to feel the feeling you want, you first, you need to give yourself love, basically. 
that's what we're coming back to. So we had the whole self-improvement th talk, and now we're coming on the self-love. So you can give yourself the love that you're looking for in this very moment. And then you can release these traumas, you can release these feelings by loving through it, by loving yourself in this way you are feeling, by not trying to get rid of this feeling, by not trying to get somewhere else in the future, by not getting to a goal and then, then projecting your, your, your goal outside of yourself and running towards it. It, it is right now. You can feel the self-love right now. So you are doing the self-improvement in a way to avoid the self-love. You're doing the self-improvement to be, to be good enough finally. When you do all these things, when you check all these boxes and do all these good habits, then you can finally be good enough. Or you can choose to love yourself right now. And then your mind says it cannot be that easy. You, it cannot be that easy that you can love yourself right now. And that you can feel all these feelings you want to feel. And, 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 and what about the goals? What about, what about making that amount of money? That's an interesting one. Because then it comes from a place of fullness. From a place of flow. And then your goals are not superficial anymore. And what I mean with superficial is you, you don't have the belief that your goals can give you something you don't already possess. A feeling. So you move from this place of love and from this place of enjoyment of this present moment of this life we are given. From a place of gratitude from a place of presence, you move from this place and then you don't expect the outside world to, to give you something or you're not trying to get something from the outside world, but you're moving from this place of presence and love and then you can give to the world. And that's your purpose. So... Um, when you are in this space of relaxation and in this space of love, you can really give to this world. And then your purpose and the flow of life and, the, and God's plan can unfold through you. And you can really start giving. And that gives you the excitement. That gives you the, the fulfillment you are looking for. This love um, you are looking for. You have it in this present moment and you can give it. And that creates excitement. That creates a fullness that creates um, a better world eventually as well. So your purpose unfolds by focusing on giving. And you can only give if, you're, if your cup overflows. So if you have enough love and enough gratitude in this very moment, you don't try to get something anymore from the world or you don't, you fully accept yourself as you are right now and then you can start giving. So... <clears throat> what is very important here what I always do in my videos is I can give you some practical steps because I can give you all this amazing amazing ideas of self-love and being good enough and all this talk but then if you watch this, if you watch the end of this video you're like okay I need self-love but how am I gonna do it well that's a very interesting thing um how I do it myself. I can only talk about how I do it myself. Um, is first really quiet the noise. That's a very, very important one. There is so much input in this busy world nowadays. So much input. You can be watching YouTube shorts on the couch all day. <laughs> And people are watching YouTube shorts on the couch all day and they're inputting their brain with all this garbage. And you can be watching movies and you can be watching porn even. I don't recommend it, but you can do it if you want. Um, 
you can like what I mean is all these things are available to you. I don't I don't recommend you watching porn and watching movies and watching YouTube shorts on the couch, but you can do all these things and you can indulge in all this information and in all this 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 busyness which gets your mind all excited and it's and it gets it gets intense. But first you need to cut out all the noise and how you do it is relax in the mornings. Don't touch your phone for the first two hours of the day. So what I do is I wake up, like not too early, not too late. Let's say 8 a.m. I wake up. Um, then I do my affirmations in the mirror. So I say to myself, it sounds very corny this, but I say to myself, I love you. And you are good enough and you can be here. You can feel everything you you feel right now like you are i love you basically you say this loving affirmations to yourself in the mirror and it really works you can test it out yourself you it really works then i take a cold shower then i meditate uh, so i still do all these self-improvement habits um but in the morning more and more not, not like from a checklist like i need to do this i need to do this in order to be good enough but more like what works for you like for me it works to really relax in the morning, come to myself, breathe, <sighs> meditate, stretch, walk outside, pet my cat, drink my coffee, journal a little bit and then really come to myself. Maybe I feel some emotions. Being in nature works like in the morning and then after two hours you touch your phone after you did all these things to really be with yourself. That's the message. Be with yourself. And be kind for yourself. Let yourself feel these things. Let yourself relax. Don't try to do anything. Don't try to force anything. Anything. Just be there in the morning. And it can be difficult at first if you've never done it. Because um, there's a lot of emotions and, and thoughts that are uncomfortable that can come up. But that's where the real growth is. That's the discomfort people are talking about. Where, where the growth is. That's the inner work. So you breathe through it. <sighs> let, let it be there. Let these feelings be there. Love it. Love yourself. Um, enjoy the relaxation in the morning. First two hours. And after that you can do anything you want. Grab your phone. I don't know. But if you do this in the morning. You can really start feeling more presence. More relaxation. And and move from that place of relaxation into your day because the, how you start the morning is how you start your day um, so so that's the best way to to start your day from a place of relaxation from a place of self-love and then just be kind for yourself and be there for yourself and and if you really really make progress in it and really really start loving yourself everything starts falling into place you don't need to rush anymore you don't need to try and get something from the world to give you pleasure you don't chase all these things you probably start uh, indulging less in your bad habits you start you basically start moving from a place of love and that's what we all want and then you can live your ultimate purpose so um that's just what i wanted to say this really helped me it really gave me perspective and I think you're all doing great. Um, just keep doing, just keep, keep moving forward and give yourself some love because uh, you deserve it. Bye.